What you've been waiting for, Grace. Just give it to me all. Imagine this bitch. God said all to him. You must surrender. All to him. You must bring him. Everything. Everything that comes to bring your spirit down. Everything that comes to torment you. I call all. I set you loose. I set you free. I didn't leave for you right now. Come and put your mind to come back to the place that God wants you to be. I call for the family. Come to the very rich. I call for the come to the come to the very I call for the unity of this family to come alive. I call for the walls in this house to reveal. I call for the change. I call for the change to come now. I call for the change. I call for the new experience. We God. We unite by the self of God. For God to use you. Just like Abraham. God could use Abraham where he was living in Tyre's house. For God to use him. He had to take him out. Completely out of it. And for God to use you out. You have some long work to do. You got some homework to do. You got some purging to do. You got to fix the walls that have been broken. In the name of Jesus. Genesis 17, 7. I will establish my covenant, and my everlasting will I make a promise to you and your descendants from generation to generation. It's no time to sit in the house of the Lord come visit. It's no time to arise. It is no time to arise, Sister Laurel. You'll be sitting to reluctant in the house of the Lord. Words can get you to heaven. Words only can get you into heaven, Sister Lorraine. Holiness and righteousness unto God will get you into heaven. There must be a time when you need an experience from God. There must be a time when you need a greater change from God. Your spirit has been weary now for too long. But I'm calling you back today. I'm calling your spirit back to come alive. I'm calling you back to your purpose. I'm calling you back to your first love, Sister Lorraine. I'm calling you to go home and to search yourself, to rebuild the walls, because God is about to take off this house. But you have to rebuild. You have to get rid of. There can be no sin in the temple. You have to complain. You have to turn. You have to change. Don't wear your mind down. Trust God. Whatever the problem is this evening, God is able to give you that which you ask. Earnestly seek his face. Trust in him always. And he will do it for you. No matter how long it takes, Sister Lorraine. No matter how long it takes, if you keep on knocking, if you keep on calling, God will come true for you. If you only keep the faith. If you only keep the faith. So you have work to go home and to do. For you to be in the rebuilding business in this church. Cleaning won't get you there. You have to get rid of that which is hindering God's presence from coming into your sanctuary. That is your sanctuary, not the church. That's your sanctuary. But Sambalat, Tobias, they heard that the church in Braco is going on. They come one day to pay a visit to see what is happening. But they got a shock of their life to see that no matter what they talk, no matter what they do, what they have done, the church is still going on. Yes. The church is still going on. Amen. The doors are still open. This is what God wants from us today. To continue to persevere no matter how the situation may look. Sometimes we as ministers, we get discouraged because we have the whole load of the church on our heads. Sometimes we can't even tell you what is happening. But all we can do is to go down on our knees. When sorrow rises, we only can talk to Jesus because Jesus understands. If we go down in tears, he said tears are a language. Only God understands. Sometimes we can only groan because God understands our groaning. Yes. 
is not for you to understand. God said he used the foolish and the basic things of this world to confound the wise. Yes. Today, if we are only being obedient to God, we will do that which we have been praying for. But again, but once again, keep on talking to the Lord in prayer. Say, don't stop. Keep on praying. Don't stop. Keep on praying. Don't stop. Keep on praying. You may not see now, but keep on praying. God is going to show. He's going to come to right on time. When you don't expect it, God is going to show from you. He's going to make a way. When it seems to be no way, He will always make that way if you continue to be sincere to Him. James 5, verse 16. The effectual perfect prayer of a righteous man availed much. But some will attend to bias and the Arabians and the Malachites and the Arabians and they heard that the preach is about to stop. So when the enemy heard that God is about to set back or straight, the enemy start to show up. The enemy start to come in like it's a friendly greeter. But God is about to shut them. God is about to give them a taste of their own medicine. They come to visit to take a look of themselves. They have been hearing about what has been happening. But when the enemy comes himself, he wants to see for himself to see what they say is happening. But sister Louis, keep on doing what you do for God. Keep on seeing. Keep on looking. Keep on seeking the face of God. Because God is about to take you places. God is about to lift you higher than you can ever imagine. Proper just a stepping stone for you. Because God is about to lift you. When no man has ever expected God to lift you. Because God is about to give you an Elisha experience. God is about to take you up. You're about to get a chariot experience. Just embrace yourself for a change. It's about to come. Exodus 14, 13 tells us the Egyptians who we have seen today, we shall see them no more. Sister Jane, you shall see them no more. The Egyptian that you face today, God said to tell you, the moment you walk in, you shall see them no because I have made a complete covenant with you today. We give you praise, mighty God. We give you glory, exalt you, suffering God. Because in me, God, you are a good God. You are an awesome God. You are a lift up of our faith. And we worship your God. We adore you, God. While the enemies, Sister Shona, continue to conspire against you, as they continue, Continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to seek, continue to ask of Him. Because in due season, He will give you that which you require of Him. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you have been faced with, God says about to do it again. All He requires of you, just be sincere to Him. Just be sure. Just hold on. Don't lose courage. Don't lose faith. He's about to make a way for you when there seems to be no way. It's not about your time. It's about my time. I am God. I make the time when I see possible. I make the time when it is necessary for you. All I want you to do is to continue to trust, to lift your faith in me. Continue to do my work because indeed I will bless you. I will open a new door for you. I will give you that job that you're expecting. Yes. Just be faithful to me. We bless the name of Jesus. We worship God. We give God all the glory. We give Him all the praise that He desires and He deserves. You are worthy to be praised, mighty God. Joshua 10, verse 8. And the Lord said, Fear them not, for I have come to deliver. 
Sister Nesrin, you come with me now. But this is the word. God said, fear them not. Because today you walk into deliverance house of praise. You have just gotten your deliverance. You have just gotten your breakthrough. You have just gotten a deeper experience in here. Don't feel your love here this morning for nothing. Because I, God, have just set you up into something great. Mighty God. Turn it 
around for you and God if you are willing to walk with me. Are you willing? Are you willing to walk the way that God wants you to walk this morning? Are you tired of being out there? Are you tired and weary of constantly having nowhere to go? Well, as the songwriter said, Jesus has the fire. Jesus has the fire. No matter how your prayer receives, God answers prayer. God answers your prayer today. God answers prayer. I said, one thing is for certain. It's my God.